Our reality is a reflection of our thoughts, inviting us to expand our thinking and change unsatisfactory experiences. So together, we hold the power to change the collective makeup of our reality by accessing the universal mind and vibrating with peace, joy, harmony, health, love, abundance. I believe this is our divine birthright. See, in embracing our limitless and absolutely infinite nature, we can reclaim those joyous experiences that are divinely ours. It's time to remember and embrace the truth encoded in our hearts, for we are the architects of our reality, which is shaped by the vibrations of our collective consciousness. Welcome to the channel. My name is Dre. I'm a spiritual and meditation coach. I focus solely on meditation. I've been coaching for around seven years and I've coached thousands of students through their spiritual process, no matter where they are. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't already grabbed it, I have a free guided meditation right there in the description. I'll pin it to the comments. It's an inner sanctuary meditation. It is truly there to help you find that centered neutral space from where all of this blossoms. It is the starting point. It's truly where we begin. Grab it. It's free. Let me know what you think in the comments. See, the essence of this journey lies in, well, understanding that experiences are not, well, mere external events, but creations within our consciousness. I want you to picture our mind as, you know, sort of a maestro orchestrating the symphony of our reality. Now, I love these examples. I'm a musician. Every thought, every emotion contributes to the intricate composition of our existence. This internal vibration, see it resonates with the universe, which mirrors it back to us. Physical manifestation. We all want to manifest our dream life. This is a representation of the reality shaped by your dominant thoughts, feelings, and overall vibrational frequency. As we navigate the external world through our individual consciousness, See, an intriguing unity emerges. Every smell, every sound, every taste and touch generates an experience from within based on perception. The apparent paradox here though, of you know a shared reality among individuals finds resonance in the words of most spiritual teachers who emphasize the universal mind transcending individual minds. See, the images that we perceive are crafted by light entering our eyes, journeying you know, through the cornea and dancing upon the retina. The brain, the ultimate artist, interprets this dance and it creates the internal experience of thought and feeling. And then, you guessed it, your mind confronts its own nature. So objects within consciousness are not separate from that consciousness. Matter and mind are entangled. All physical matter comprises energy, creating an interactive feedback loop between the observer and the observed. So when we talk about initiating change in our reality, embrace a simple yet effective process. I want you to choose something you desire to manifest. It doesn't matter what it is. And I want you to create, just create it in your mind, a vivid mental scene. Immerse yourself in the sensory perception. That's the key. When spiritual teachers talk about, you know, feeling is the secret, that's what they're saying. I know you have a good imagination. This is where it comes into play. Say you are longing for a, you know, beach vacation, for example. When trying to manifest this, you create the vision in your head. That's easy. We can all see the beach, the sun, you know, everybody's playing volleyball and whatever, kids running around. The trick here is to use your five senses in that imaginative state to create it. This is the feeling. Feel the sand between your toes. Truly feel the, the sun on your skin. You know, the smell of the sunscreen maybe. Stuff like that. Like really, really just dive into this imagery. That is the key to manifesting. That is when we talk about the feeling is the secret. That is what we're talking about. See, then we focus our intention into the center of our mind. We allow it to rest there, just to be. We create it, and then we forget about it. We go about our day, and we allow the universe to work in divine timing. This act is, I know, akin to planting a seed. I think we've all heard this analogy. 
and intention will grow and intensify just like a seed in the ground, though it must be watered. It takes time, okay? So this exercise shifts your mind from, you know, linear whole brain functioning and activates the pineal gland, the master regulator of the endocrine system. See, as hormones cascade through your body, affecting mood, growth, behavior, you enter a light state of meditation. Focused intention becomes sort of a precise stimulus, creating profound change within. This isn't just about feeling intensely. It's transcending time and space, tapping into the eternal, the infinite, universal mind, where, you know, all creation happens. So I want to talk about high vibe, vibrating with peace, joy, abundance. When we practice this exercise daily of visualization, of meditation, you know, offering love and gratitude for all of these experiences is really the ticket to you getting what you want. Because, you know, our reality reflects our thoughts. And really, it's inviting you to expand your thinking and change unsatisfactory experiences. Because, I mean, the truth be told, we hold the power to change the collective makeup of our reality. And all we have to do is access the universal mind and vibrate correctly. I'll say it again, I truly believe this is our divine birthright. Embracing our limitless and infinite nature we truly reclaim the joyous experience that are divinely ours. Don't forget to grab your inner sanctuary meditation. It is my guided meditation. It is the starting point for you to truly make these changes in your life. I've had great success with this and that's really why I'm giving it away for free. I'll leave it right there in the description and I'll pin it to the comments. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, my friend.